Good evening, everyone. I hope everybody's well. Uh, as promised, this is part 10 in the final uh, video on the prep for the my C3 1969 Corvette vintage race car. As you guys know, when I first started this, I was prepping for uh, Sebring in February. Here we are, uh, March 10th, and I am literally this time going to make Charlotte with SVRA. We're going to run the Roval. So um, I just thought I'd give you a quick update, and as I promised in two or three other videos, I'm going to discuss what I spent on the race car. So uh, let's get to it a little bit. So first of all, here's what we're down to left to finish before we load in the trailer on uh, Monday. Uh, I got a front brake duct I got to screw in. Um, check the master shutoff switch to make, every, make sure everything's wired right there. Uh, I've got the shift boot screws to put around the shift boot. And uh, Friday, the car is going in to get the alignment checked. I haven't checked it since um, I raced it in 2019, uh, started 2020. Uh, I got to adjust the shift light for the new uh, rev limit on the new motor. I'm going to set it at 6,900. I've got a couple bolts on the side pipes I got to fix, and uh, I want to bump the oil pressure up on the uh, mechanical uh, oil pump. So there she is. Motor's all in. Everything's all done. Fans are in. Wiring's all done. Brakes are all done. Um, Oh, one thing that's not on my list, I just showed, I gotta bleed the brakes when I get to the track. Uh, also put on some new tires, but uh, anyway, so there she sits, all ready to go, and uh, we're gonna jump right to it. I spent, and don't cringe, and don't send a bunch of nasty uh, comments, I spent $7,650 to get that engine ready to bolt into the car. Now, as you may recall, I uh, replaced all the oil lines because um, I didn't want to have uh, shrapnel stuck in an oil line somewhere. So we got all new oil lines on everything, oil coolers, everything else. Um, we put a new oil pump on. Um, I did have some extra cost in that. Um, I spent, uh, I think, $850 including shipping for the oil pump. And as you guys know from buying oil lines if you have or getting braided lines with uh, compression fittings uh, you can spend a stupid amount of money on oil oil lines so this is literally just a sampling of uh, what I spent on fittings and hose uh, and as you can see it's ugly four feet at uh, basically ten bucks a foot in hose on that one four hose fittings at uh, nine bucks each. Oh, sorry, that's another four feet of uh, 12 line. Um, anyway, uh, hose ends at 20, $12 each, uh, fittings at $32, another fitting for a 12 AN at uh, 15 bucks, and uh, another one here uh, for just a uh, 10 to 3 eighths uh, NPT fitting, 21 bucks. Here's another one for just a uh, Black Union for uh, Phoenix, from Phoenix Products, 44 bucks. It just goes on and on and on. So in short, I'm not gonna include some of the cost I spent on brake pads and stuff like those. Those are uh, all expendable items as far as I'm concerned, but uh, in uh, accessories and hoses and uh, uh, the oil pump, I got a uh, four chamber dry sump pump instead of a three chamber, which is what I had before. Um, I said that was $860, including shipping um, from um, uh, Nutter Racing. By the way, those guys were really good. I think I may have mentioned that in the previous video and had a, had a link to them in the bottom of the video, but if I didn't, I will be sure to include it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, you know, it's not just getting the car done, it's all the accessory fittings and crap. But uh, including the fittings, um, not going to include the oil. Um, but the fittings, uh, the oil pump, um, just miscellaneous stuff, new oil, uh, I did put a new oil cooler on it, that was another $300 from Summit Racing. Uh, I did go a little bit wider, deeper cooler, I went to a inch and three quarter thick instead of an inch and a half thick, which hopefully, I didn't have any temperature problems anyway, but hopefully get a little more flow out of that. But 
So I had another almost two grand in uh, miscellaneous stuff. Like I said, the big thing was the uh, new oil pump. So I'm not disappointed. I uh, got away cheap. I got uh, 530 odd horsepower for uh, roughly, including all the pipes, fittings, pumps, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, folded in the car and ready to go for it's at 76 and two 9600 dollars. So um, I ain't complaining. I'll be down on horsepower, but I didn't spend twenty thousand dollars plus. So anyway, guys, I told you I'd get back with you on that. So. Um, going forward, um, I probably won't be doing any more Corvette stuff until I'm on the way to Charlotte on Tuesday. I'm going to go to Nashville on Tuesday night and then finish on Wednesday uh, so we can load in on Wednesday afternoon and uh, meet my uncle and cousin and uh, my cousin's husband who um, will be helping me with the car. So my uncle Ed, his daughter Molly, and his son-in-law, my cousin-in-law Paul. Uh, we'll all be there at the track on um, Wednesday afternoon. So look forward to seeing you guys. Please watch the videos on the races. There'll be a lot of in-car stuff. I haven't done some in-car stuff in uh, over a year, obviously, because I haven't been in the car. Um, been in Jim's car, Jim Hex, but uh, not in mine in uh, over a year now. So looking forward to it, and uh, stay tuned. Hit that uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I put a video up and uh, I'll get one up Wednesday. I'll probably do it daily at the track. I'll start over again with Charlotte number one and uh, we'll go from there. All the best to everybody. Uh, I also, you'll see a little flash of something here. I've got another video on something else I did this week. And uh, we had a little disaster also on Saturday night, which uh, none of you guys know about, including a lot of my friends because I was embarrassed, but I'm going to put it on YouTube and admit my stupidity. So again, hope you guys are all well. Um, Hope you get out, of, get something out of what I spent and what I did on the motor and the race car. And hopefully we'll see some good results in Charlotte. Thanks again, guys. We'll talk to you soon. One other thing I forgot to mention is uh, please stay tuned because we have some really cool accommodations we got through Airbnb, uh, Jim and Scott and Rich and uh, Uncle Ed and I. Um, Rich, uh, Jim and I always like to get Airbnb since we're having a big group and our crew, et cetera, et cetera. But stay tuned because we have a really cool accommodation, which I will share with you on probably Wednesday night when we get there, but uh, you're going to like it.